All right, little friendlies, let's talk about your online lab notebook. <clears throat> this is the place where I am going to see the evidence that you actually did the lab activity that was asked of you. So your task right now is to get it set up. The software that we're using to facilitate the online notebook is, like, amazing. I think I might have cried when I randomly got this email from this company at the end of last semester offering this service, and I was like, yeah, whatever. Well, this service is shockingly um, helpful. Like, it is making all of our lives easier. It will cost you $15. That sort of blows my mind that it's so inexpensive. I don't know if they're going to be able to keep it that price. Um, maybe they keep it that price because I'm the one who has to generate all the content to put in there, so I'm doing a lot of work. But, man, this program is really cool. So here's the scoop. You can't just go search for the program. You need to click on the link right here. This link, when you click on it, it will take you to my page. My page looks like this. It says you got to sign up for this system. The good news is that they'll give you three weeks to, um, before they make you pay. If you think there's a chance that you might not want to stick out this class, you can still set up your lab notebook and wait to pay until you um, know for sure that, this, that you're going to make this happen. That said, um, after three weeks, they're going to lock you out. And if you get locked out and don't complete your lab activities, your labs are 20% of your grade. So you do not want to, like, this is an important part. So you're going to click on that link. You're going to come here, fill in your email, use your CR email address, go log into your CR email, click on the activation link, whatever, awesome, follow along. They tell you to do stuff, and I think I told you to do it, whatever but eventually you will arrive in your notebook. Your notebook um, is named Online Bio 1 Spring 17, and then it should be followed by um, your name. I push out, like I'm building this notebook. Like you really will see all of this, even the stuff like I've started working on lab number two. And if you click on that, you will see, like, oh, there's stuff in there. But if you look at lab number three, there ain't nothing in there yet. <laughs> I'm not panicking about that, but lab two and one and this little intro piece are the only things that I have completed so far. Don't worry, it'll be ready. <laughs> so if you do not see a name next to the lab, like with lab three, and even lab two, my recommendation is to stay out. Don't go into it because it means I'm not done. As soon as I am finished with building the lab, I will absolutely put the title in so that you know that you can go in there. Um, I won't put the title in until I've pushed out my changes. So think about that for just a second. I can make changes in this. What you're seeing right now is my lab notebook. Yours is going to look just like this. When you open it up, it looks just like this. And once I push it out to you and you open it up and start messing with it, it's yours. So you're going to, like, change this lab notebook. But I'm going to push it out with your starting piece. If you go in and start changing things before I've pushed out the final version, do you know what I mean? then you lock it and you won't get any more updates from me, and that's just crazy talk. So you don't have to understand why, <laughs> but just don't go into labs that don't have a title on them yet. If you find, I'll know, because I publish next week's stuff on Saturdays. So on Saturday, the next, the lab for week two is totally going to be ready to go. If it isn't ready to go, I will cancel the lab, which I hope does not ever happen, but um, <laughs> it will never happen, I mean. There will always be the lab in here. So anyway, stay out. 
for the intro piece, you have to go to the Welcome Begin Here folder. When you click on the folder, you'll see that, oh, there's pages in there. You have to click on the pages. The first page we've clicked on is this um, Learn About Your Lab Notebook. Again, I pushed it out to you, so now you can do whatever you want with it. You could go through and delete all this stuff and be like, dude, Riggs, that's crazy. I'm skipping all this. Don't, but <laughs> you totally could. It's your lab notebook now. So you're going to read. That's awesome. You're going to read my little intro because I said woof woof to you. I've got some um, icons that I'm going to try to use throughout the, uh, for consistency. I've got a selfie icon, and that means that, dude, you have to upload a selfie of you doing the lab. Now, this week's lab, this activity you are going to upload a selfie for me so that we all know that you can do it. Um, this lab discussion is you're not doing anything in your kitchen, so I don't need evidence that you did it. So. Um, but I will put a selfie icon next to every place that I want you to put a selfie. So, so you need a phone, you need a digital camera, you need something that will let you take a picture of yourself doing the lab activity um, so that I have evidence that you did it. The little check mark, the green check mark, means you got to do something here. It, there's some sort of task, like you have to draw a graph or you have to, um, label an image or like something. You got to do something. And the red question mark just means that there is a lab question there. So let me show you. Once you have finished with this page, let me see if I can make it so that you can see the whole thing. Rottler. Yeah. Once you're finished with this page. Now, if you wanted to, you could go in and modify this. I'm not asking you to modify anything on this first page. I'm just giving you the instructions. If I wanted you to modify it, I would put a key there. I would put an icon and, and tell you what to do. But look at this. If you hover over, like between things, you can actually insert a thing in there. You could insert a rich text box. So you could make a whole thing. You could put one in that says, um, Riggs, this is super confusing and you really should have more instructions. Like we need a video explaining how to do blah, blah, blah. Oh, as long as you're polite, giving me feedback, like, excuse me, giving me feedback like that is, oh, I'd be so happy. But be polite when you're saying it to me. You could put in a heading. You can actually, I don't know if you can add an assignment. Um, there's like most of the stuff you probably aren't going to do any of it, but you can modify your notebook however you want. It's yours. Okay. So once you've finished with this page, let's go to the next page in the folder. So there isn't, you know, on Canvas there's the little next button with the dog nose, follow it. Yeah. We don't have that in this thing. You're going to have to go to the next page in the folder. And the next page is your tasks. You're just going to practice. So look, here's a place where you're going to upload a selfie. I, now, I heard a rumor from the Lab Archives peeps that if you log in to Lab Archives using their app, that you can take a selfie and upload your selfie like super easy with your phone. So you might want to mess with that. If you think that that is something that is like, absolutely game-changingly amazing. It would be really cool if somebody like busted out the, like how you do that, and then we could include those instructions in here. You can also just um, add a file. So let's look at how you can do this. Anytime you want to make changes to a thing, I told you to upload a selfie. So you're going to go over here and you're going to click the pencil. Hello, pencil. Now you open up this rich text entry editor, and like I said, you can delete everything that I've done. All you're going to have to do is go to this uh, icon. There's two icons that, that involve images. It's this little guy right here that says, insert an image and store it directly inside this entry. I don't know what that means. The other one that has an image associated with it is, insert an image that is stored outside of this entry. I don't know. If you know something about that and you can do it, like I don't care which how you 
do it, but do it. I think this one's easier because you click on it and it tells you, did I click on it? Oh, look, it's, something's happening. Then you can go and you can be like, this is, this is me, Riggs, look, right her. And so you just click on the image that you want to upload, open. Oh, look at that little selfie right there. So cute. That's the only thing that I asked you to do in this little section. You're going to save it to the page. Nice. You're done. You're done. You just did that task. When I go, I have access to all your notebooks, and when I go look in your notebook, I'm going to see your selfie. Your selfie isn't going to show up in my notebook because you are modifying just yours. I pushed out the information, and once you start modifying, it's just affecting you, but I can go in and look at them all. It's actually, like, brilliant. Okay, look, here's our little sign. That was our selfie message. This is our, you got to do something doggy. So look, it says create a sketch in the item below. So this is a, a rich text box that's telling you, you, this is a sketch below here. And so you're going to do the same thing where you're going to click on the uh, arrow to modify it. You're not going to be able to sketch from this instructional text box. You have to bring your, whatever, cursor to the actual sketch. I'm sort of not loving that look. I might, I might fiddle with how to do a sketch, but check it out. Once you're in here, click on the little thing, whatever that is, the little edit pencil. <laughs> and then you can go in and you can, like, draw pictures. Oh, geez. And you can, like, there, I can grab it. Oh, look. And then I can be like, no, goodbye. And you can write things like, so cool. And then you can change the color of it because you know it's got to be yellow because yellow is my favorite color. Why didn't it go to yellow? Oh, because it's got to be like that. Okay, that's close enough. Okay, you get the idea. And no one can read that because it's yellow. Who did that? But if you want to move stuff, there you go. And if you want to erase stuff, whatever. You're going to sketch. You can actually draw pictures. Like you could take this. I could do a cell, and you could label the cell with, um, like, just drawing in here. You can um, clear the whole thing. Yes, please. Cle oh, oops. I didn't want to clear the whole thing. Well, whatever. No, I'm not going to. Can I undo it now that I did that? Okay, I'll be remaking that part of the uh, sketch pad notebook, whatever. I had some instructions in there. I'll go find out what I said. <laughs> and then once you're done, you sketch something, then you just save it to your page. Okay, I need to put something in there now. There. Save it to your page. Voila, you totally did it. And now I can come grade it. And then the last one is, look, it's just a question. Here you're going to click on the entry again. What do you think of the lab notebook so far? You're going to throw in your answer because you know it's awesome. Save it to the page, and you're golden. I can come in, look at your answers, be like, rock star, and give you your points for your lab. You're not done. You did all that. You did the whole lab. Good job. Now you've got one more page. Every lab, unless I decide that I want to change it, every lab has the page at the end. And if you don't do this last page, none of that work that you did counts. You're going to go to, um, you, you have to submit it. You have to tell me that you're ready to have it be graded. And the way that it works, here's instructions for how to submit your notebook. I'm not going to include these instructions every single time. I am including them because I want you to do it on this first um, assignment. So you're going to take this assignment and you actually are going to edit this little yellow box. The yellow box makes an entry in my grade book, which is why until you do this last task of submitting your assignment, I'm not going to know you're done. So look, you click on edit, that pencil, go with the pencil dogs. The assignment status needs to change. You need to submit it to the instructor. Once you submit it to this instructor, you, so you changed that right there, now you're going to go save to page. 
don't change anything else. I don't know. I mean, if you change the assignment number and the name, will that change, like, what shows up in my gradebook? I don't know, but don't do it. I bet you can't change that stuff. I bet all you can change is the assignment status. And then you're going to submit it to the page. I, I mean, save it to the page. I'm not going to submit it because I don't want to change it for you. But once you click save, it will send me a message. Doggy out there was a good doggy and has finished the lab and it's ready to be graded, which means I get to go in and look at it and make sure that you did everything and give you your points. That piece, I'm, I'm feeling a little paranoid that that might be the piece that is tricky. If, this would be so fantastically cool. If you're like, I would like to add one more page or I need to have um, a graph in there, or I want to have a resource, or whatever. Like, whatever you want to add to your notebook, please do. Do not feel trapped. And if you delete something and you want to go back, there's an undo page. I think this is it. Um, that's not it. But the somewhere there's like you can go back to revision. View revisions. So if you're like, oh, I just totally deleted something and now I don't know what to do, Go to the revisions. You can go back to where you were in your golden. The other thing, these guys are charging you $15 to use this amazing tool, and they're also, they offer help, like legit, fast, effective help. So if you get stuck on something and you need um, some assistance, like check out the resources that they have. Okay, how are you? I feel like that. I'm really glad that we did that because I think that, um, I think it will help you, right? Because this was for assignment point eight in module zero. And you got to get through all this stuff so that you can uh, get started on the content module and lab one, which is the vaccine case study. And you know what? I'm here. So I'm just going to go in and we're going to look at lab one as well. Open up the folder. Awesome. Look at the introduction. Get out of there. I don't. <coughs> this was a really hard lab for me to build. Just kidding. There's your introduction. You're doing the lab in Canvas. You're doing a discussion with your lab group. Here's the uh, task that you have to, one task. After you participate with your group, one task. You're going to reflect on the lab. And then what do you always do? Good work, home dog. You always go and you submit your notebook. And so once you're done with the lab, you're going to edit this little assignment tool and you're going to submit it to me so that I know that you did it. Oh, my gosh. This is real. We're really going to do this. We're really doing an online lab bio course. All right. It is almost 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm nocturnal. You don't know that about me yet, but I am. And uh, it's a little bit inconvenient because I think, like, dude, I'm supposed to be here at work at, like, 9. Should I just stay? <laughs> just kidding. I didn't ask you that. All right. I'm not staying. I'm going to take a nap. I'll come back later. Okay. Holler at me if you have any questions. I'll um, be videoing at you later. Bye-bye.